Hello, welcome to another video. Today I am sewing some pants. This will be my first time sewing regular pants. Uh, my second time sewing pants for myself. These are the first pair of pants I tried sewing for myself. They are pajama pants and they are a major reason why I decided to go to letter low instead of traditional sewing patterns because I followed the, this was the first sewing pattern I ever did and I was so nervous about it and I followed all the directions and did everything as perfectly as I could, but my major mistake was in the very first step. I measured myself and I matched my measurements and it told me I was such and such size and when I sewed it, really, these are approximately two to three sizes too big. So I put in all this effort, I did everything perfectly, which is ridiculous, they're pajama pants, but it was my first pattern, and <laughs> it was terrible. Like, I was so mad. I was so mad. So this is a major reason why you see me sewing letter low pants, or patterns, um, and the pattern for this video is this pattern from Supplement 306. I just bought my letter low book in January, so if you also got one recently or in January, you might have this pattern in there already. Um, this is what is pretty simple. We have the front, the back, the waistband, and some pockets. That's what the back should look like. So, very excited. I know a lot of people struggle with finding pants that fit and a lot of people get into sewing hoping to sew clothes especially pants that fit their body specifically and so that's something I'm really hoping to discover is how fitted these pants are do I feel comfortable in them is it a good pattern so here we go this is the first time in a long time that I will be sewing pants so I've kind of forgotten how to do it I'm watching a few YouTube videos as a refresher, but something else I'm going to do is sew some lining into the pants. As you can see, the fabric I'm using is really thin, and so having some lining I think is necessary. And the nice thing about that is I can sew the lining pieces together kind of as a practice, and then sew the pink fabric together, and I'll know a little bit more what I'm doing. So something has gone terribly wrong um, <clears throat> with the lining that I tried to sew first before the pants. And I think I know what. I think I lined up the wrong seams because this pattern has a few extra seams. Um, and so this is what happens when you do that. <laughs> um, so here I am. <laughs> Not completely finished with the mock-up and or lining of my pants, but what I've discovered after seam ripping everything already and re-sewing it is I had sewed like and like together. Like there's a bigger pant pattern and a smaller pant piece pattern and you have to sew the big piece and the little piece together because what's going to happen. So this is a little piece sewed to the big piece. So this is what you would get. What you're gonna do is you wanna connect the little pieces in the front and the big pieces in the back for your butt. <laughs> and I didn't know that and it felt like a really complicated jigsaw puzzle and I hated it and I hated every moment of it. The pattern itself, the letter loan pattern is fine. It's just, I don't like sewing pants. I don't, it's hard for my brain to understand what's going on when you sew pant legs together. So I have struggled and I'm still struggling because I finally figured it out. I'm like, oh, the bigger pieces need to be in the back and they need to connect in the back because that's where your butt's going to be. And somehow, even though I figured that out, this, <laughs> this is all done correctly. The seam is on the inside. This, the seam is on the outside. So I've still done something wrong. So I am still on the struggle bus, riding along. Um, I'm just gonna have to seam rip this out, 
sew it inside out, then turn it right side out, and it'll be fine. But I know I've complained a lot about this pattern, but I started at the very top putting it together, not even thinking about how important it is to get the seam to match up. And it matches up so perfectly. I don't know if you can see that, but uh, look at that. It's so perfect. And just like when a pattern comes together like that, it just makes me so happy. This is like the first happy moment I've had with this pattern so far. Or not the pattern, but just with sewing pants in general so far. So... I'm liking this. I'm beginning to like this process and sewing these pants and I have hope. Okay, so I'm now finally moving on to the waistband part of the pattern. And this part confused me because the legs you have to measure. You can see the little X's where you put your push pin and where you measure everything. And this, there's no measurement. It just says it's 80 centimeters by 10 centimeters which doesn't make sense to me because it's like this is gonna measure to fit any size person where this is just like oh no 80 centimeters is plenty that's all you need which isn't true <laughs> um, and I could be reading it wrong but that's just the impression I got I'll show you how that measures for me so when I measured it it stops right here <laughs> which isn't big enough and so I added this little piece because this is actually going to be in the back and you need to fold it back to put the zipper in so leaving a little extra space and so that was my solution if you come up with a different solution that's great I was just very confused why they weren't going to add measurements to it because not everyone's waist is going to be this this small <laughs> Clearly mine isn't, and but it felt like an easy solution. Just add a little bit more fabric and then cut back. If you add too much, just remember, it's better to add too much because you're gonna have to fold back to add the zipper. Um, and then you can cut away any extra. So that's my suggestion. And we'll see if it works out. <laughs> just wanted to show an example. So this is that waistband piece. You are supposed to fold it in half, and I've sewn it, I guess that would be like right sides together, so when you flip it up, you don't see the seam. And I've left a little extra. I will have to seam rip this open to put the zipper in. I just like to sew it shut up until that point. And um, yeah, I left a little extra, so I have some more room to work with when I put the zipper on and cut off any extra that I don't need. My pants are finished. I will show you a full length view now. I'm so happy to be done with this project. Um, as you saw, I didn't enjoy the process. Would I sew pants again? Probably not, not if I can avoid it. What are my thoughts on the pattern specifically? So as I said in the beginning of the video, a lot of people get into sewing and letter low patterns specifically because they want clothes to be tailored to their body, to fit them. And I know a lot of people struggle with buying pants in the store. I've never been one of those people. I feel like my body's fairly average, especially my lower half. Um, just kind of an average body, which works for me because I have never struggled to buy pants in a store in my life. Um, but I know a lot of people who have. And so my honest thoughts are, I like the pattern. I feel like it fits my body really well. It does bunch up a little bit here, but I also added lining, and I've never done that before. I may have done it incorrectly. I don't think it's too terrible looking. I think, like, I would wear this out. And I do like there's 
two darts back here to make it more cinched up here. And also the waistband kind of helps. I have some friends who have a bigger bottom and they have a weird gap back here when they buy jeans especially. And so I think if you're someone who when you buy pants and your butt's a bit bigger and you have a weird gap at the back, this pattern might help in the sense that they are these darts and this waistband. So I think this pattern is definitely worth giving a try, especially if you're looking for pants that fit you specifically. I, I like the pattern. I feel confident. I feel good. I feel like I look good. <clears throat> I would wear this to work. I wouldn't wear it anywhere else because I'd be terrified of it ripping after that long process. But also I used cotton. If that helps, that was a fabric I chose. I believe 100% cotton. Um, and the same for the lining, just 100% cotton. Uh, yeah, I didn't make any modifications. As you can see with the pattern, they added buttons. I decided not to. I kind of like it plain, but this was by far the least modified pattern I've ever done. I hemmed two inches maybe more, no, two inches off the bottom. Uh, I'm five foot four, so I'm kind of short or kind of average, but um, yes, there you have it. I like the pattern. I think it's worth giving a try. Um, you may discover that you hate sewing pants like me, but that doesn't mean it's a bad pattern. I just don't like sewing pants. It's not my cup of tea, not something I'd do again if I can avoid it. But it's a good pattern. You should give it a try. Now let me show you what my next pattern is going to be. Alright, so the pattern I'm sewing next. So I used this same pattern to sew the Spring Equinox dress. Uh, if you look through my channel, through the videos, you'll see that on there if you're interested in how I used it the first time. I thought it'd be really interesting to compare what the same pattern looks on looks like on two different dress designs. I will be using this fabric. It's a nice summer fabric. It's actually a bed sheet that I got from Goodwill and washed it a few times. Um, so I'm very excited for that. I don't have to cut out a new pattern. I don't have to buy any fabric. Just using my fabric stash. I will show you a clip of the design of what I'm going for right now. This is the inspiration for my next dress. As you can see, the bodice especially is very similar to the spring equinox dress. I probably won't go as low because my bust is bigger <laughs> than what is pictured there. Um, I'm really excited. This is going to be a very flowy, summery take on that same exact pattern. And I'm going to be adding sleeves this time. There's going to be a tiered skirt and some ruffles so a few differences but the bodice will probably remain exactly the same and i'm very excited about that especially because i really love the bodice and i am excited to do this summer dress project so now you've seen the design it is different from the spring equinox dress i'm using different materials entirely i'm for the skirt i won't be doing this skirt i will be doing a tiered skirt and Letterlow does have patterns for that however I don't have any supplements that have that so there are some blogs on how to how much fabric you need to cut out so I will link the blog when I make that video and so that's my plan that's the next dress I plan on sewing I'm very excited to do a summer dress it is my birthday at the end of the month I really hope to get it done by then Thank you for watching. I really appreciate you. I hope you continue to watch my videos and enjoy the content. I am not sponsored by Letterlow, but I do like their patterns quite a bit. So almost all my videos are going to be Letterlow content. Hope you enjoy and I hope to see you next time.